Jay here for Stratford Paddock, Manchester United nil, Bournemouth three. Joining me is Andy Tate, fresh from Old Trafford. And Andy, the floor is yours, man. Just sum up how you feel after that performance and that result. Well, this is a relationship of inconvenience and the divorce papers and the counselling has not worked. And I am actually done with this team. And I'm almost at the end and I am done with this manager. And this will go viral, I understand it, but I am not giving any swear words in this. This is it. This team has to be dismantled. And only a few will survive. And I know this club will try and spin everything in the next couple of hours, next 72 hours, 24, 72, 48 hours, whatever the time frame they want, and try and push this... Jim Ratcliffe, Ineos through as fast as they can. You take us for granted. You take us for everything. You take our money. And a little message for Bruno Fernandes at the end. You clocked me in a Stretford end in a blue jacket, you and Highland, and you seen my hand signals to you. And I mean, and I meant every last word of it. I am done with you lot. Absolutely done. And I'm at the point with the manager as well now. Almost there. Even though it may go viral, even though it may, might not be the, it, the right answer, but this is a marriage that is destroyed. You can have the floor now, Jay. We've, we've been in situations like this, me and you, over the years, when we've spoken about this post Sir Alex Ferguson. Obviously, David Moyes... Um, Louis van Gaal, there was, let's not, you know, there was horrible results. Jose, Ole, Ragnik. How do you feel now with this one? Do you feel like this is similar to them where this is the end game? Can you see Eric Tenag turning this around with these players? No, I don't see, I don't see any way forward. I told you Wednesday, can be a flash in the pan. Yeah, you did. I, literally, I was nearly crying at the stadium, I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, you know what, it's... It's my birthday week next week. Family means everything to me. Yeah. My mum's not here anymore. Yeah. And this team's all I got and the rest of my family. As far as I'm concerned, this team is not part of my family. And I, I'm shaking here. I'm, I'm, um, I'm emotional and I, I just don't know what to say anymore. People, let's say, our rivals will mock me and rip me to piss tonight. You can do what you want. I've, I've seen it. I've done it, wore a t-shirt over 10 years with with social media, like I say, socials will have a field day with United tomorrow. Well, tonight actually doing it now on the way back on the, in the car. You was, I mean, I feel your pain. I wasn't there today. My little girl went, you've just been chatting to her. It was funny enough, it's her birthday this weekend as well. And it's not exactly the birthday present you both wanted or deserved. No, no, no. That performance. Um, well, you said about it on Wednesday. Yeah, you said about flashing the pan. You said, oh, we've got another game coming up. What what how, you know against Bournemouth for another big game? What do you think it is with this team? Because on Wednesday you get a result against Chelsea, who they're not a great Chelsea team. Tenth in the league though, they've beaten you know they've got some results. They drew with City not long ago. You get that result, and then what is it? Three four days no like three days later you put that performance in. What do you think it is? Why do you think these this team is so inconsistent going from a positive result and a good result to one of the worst performances we've we've seen in recent memory? Arrogance, yeah. Uh, egos, team selection, no island. When you run, you play the blinder on Wednesday and you give it Marshall again. Seriously, like I said, he's a weather balloon. He just hovers, doesn't, doesn't give anything. Yeah. Toothless up front, like you say. With it, the warnings were there within the first, well, 20 seconds, and they almost had a pen. <laughs> <laughs> And when within two minutes later off, they score. Bruno give the ball away. And, phew, wow, this is rock bottom. I, I really can't describe any other words for the performance, Jay. Yeah. Because, like you say, a well-run, well-worked team came to Old Trafford today and embarrassed us. This was just like Brentford. Brighton 4-0, I think, away as well. Yeah. I think you're right. Liverpool 7-0. Oh, and next week, I'm not going to give you the satisfaction because I won't be watching you. I want to spend time with my family and get my Christmas sorted. 
and spend time with me, my missus and all that and the rest of my family. So you can jog on next Sunday. And no wonder Gary Neville says we're all tired of you. Seriously, tired of tired of giving excuses. How, how, how worried are you, Andy, looking ahead of this this week we've got? We've got Bayern Munich, <sighs> yeah? I know they got battered today, but let's have it right. Bayern Munich are one of the best teams in, in Europe. And then we've got Liverpool. How worried are you about this week? What's what's to come for this club and this team? Well, what do you expect? Not how worried I are expect, you? What I, do you expect? I expect got to go out of Europe. Yep. And I expect zero performance. And I expect another week of grief. And I expect lacklustre performance on Tuesday, day before my birthday. Yeah, I was born Friday the 13th, mate. Were oh, you? Yeah. yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, chainsaw, rocky mask. <laughs> if I went in the dressing room like Jason, believe me, there'd be nothing left. <laughs> well, thankfully, we're not going to give you a, a, a t- we're not buying you a chainsaw for your birthday. Um, <laughs> how, what what can what can change? Can you have any hope? Do you look at anything if Ten Hag does this or if we do that or if the players show me this? Is there any sort of light in the tunnel you can say, okay, look, there's still a lot of games to go. We've just got to do something. Can you see anything? No. Is there anything there? Not honestly? in a moment. The yeah. line's been drawn in the Sanjay. Yeah. I'm on the other side of it. You know, why put this team makes or breaks your week. This club makes or breaks your week. Yeah. The weekend, let's say, even my old man, he's had enough. Is he? He's had enough. He'll still keep going. Stratford end, cheering, st- still cheering him at the end. Yeah. Uh, why don't Stratford end just stone cold silence? You don't have to cheer him off. You, you know, just give him the cold treatment. Because you did it to Marcus Rashford on Wednesday. Just give him the cold treatment. And I remember a couple of years ago, was it Bruno? We're not fit to wear the shirt. Well, <laughs> same again, mate. You are not a Manchester United captain. Scott McTominay, you are not that whiz you think you are. <sighs> Martial, au revoir. You can go in January. And I'm even, uh, I'm even getting fed up with Unani now. And that's how I'm feeling. There go the low. You can go. The only ones who'll survive the cull, Ganacho. Hoyland. Martinez. Maybe even Annie Maguire. That's about four four players. Four there. players four that you players think players might have a, fu- a future. Might have a future. Can ca- carry us forward, but the rest, you're done with them. Yeah. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Say, mate, I'm done with this team. I'm I'm done with this team. I'll, I'll go week in, week out. I'll be, I'll be there. I'll be watching from afar next Sunday because I'm not being in the studio. I am not putting my anxiety and my well, mental well-being through this. No, I don't blame you. Do you see... I mean, it, it, to me, it feels like Eric Tanag is on borrowed time. Do you see any manager coming in this season and turning this around? Or do you think it's going to have to be yet another? I know we've been here before, reset in the summer. I can't give the answers, Jack. Fair play. I can't give any answers. I can't. If I was a lottery winner... I'll be out of this place, I'll be out of this country, I'll be out, you know, you can't predict anything. So, I'll go to work tonight, I'll keep my head down, I'll work hard, I'll put in some overtime, which more can be said for that. Lot. Yeah. yeah. And this is, wow, well, I think we're seven, eight minutes in, and I'm not even said one swear word. Well, you famously, you, you didn't used to swear. You want swearing? I think, you I, think the club, I think the club wore you down until you eventually started swearing, to be fair to you, because you never used to swear. If uh, And I just, I just love to know why they get away with it. I really do. Like they say, they take us for granted, and I just wish somebody from the club would contact the channel and give an explanation. Listen, I'd love anyone to... Anybody, anybody, anybody from Manchester United want to contact any of the boys here at, at Paddock and give an explanation? We're all ears, guys. But I won't be here to listen. They can pass the message on to me. I couldn't give monkeys about you. Just I'm finally, just finally. Did you, you, we spoke on Wednesday, right? And you weren't getting carried away. Did you, did you expect anything like what you saw today? Was there part of you that thought, no. Because you said, let's see what happens at the weekend. You said that. You didn't, you weren't, no. you weren't like, oh, we've beat Chelsea, we've turned the corner, everything's rosy. You did say that. Was you surprised today at just how bad it was? I was or? surprised at it, yeah, very yeah. surprised. And you can't blame the weather on this. Yeah. Gale force winds, torrential rain. No, 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 no. Barmouth well deserved the win. Well well run team. 
team in form, five out of six wins, and uh, good luck to him for the rest of the season. So I don't know what the season brings. I don't know what the next seven days are going to bring. <laughs> I don't know what the rest of the season's going to bring. Uh, I'd end the season now. Yeah. I, I, honestly, I would. And I'm trying to you say, within sadness, you can have a chuckle. Yeah, of course, man. I think I'm Andy, I think if I didn't laugh at some of this. But many, I'd, I'd, I'd know, I know there's going to be a lot of piss takers ripping me tonight. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. I think people are, well, if people are rip anything, I think you can look at that performance we saw uh, against Bournemouth. Andy, I always like chatting to you, despite the circumstances, bro, and I feel your pain. I really do. Thanks for coming on the channel. Thanks for chatting to well, us. Oh, I did swear, then I, I said the, oh, I'm sorry. the P word just P right at the end there. I mean, not that you don't. You can, I almost you, made listen, it. Listen, you're allowed to swear. Bloody hell. Um, we're going to leave it there. Andy, thanks Pop for bleeping. coming on. Come, go and check out Andy. You know where to find him on your socials. He's all over the Instagram. He's always doing good stuff on there. Go and have a look at him. Uh, you know where to find us as well. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Manchester United, come on, man. We deserve better. Thanks for watching.